All right, this video is about uh, welding on these hoe bit tips on rotary hoe wheels. I've got 35 wheels to do. I bought the hoe bit replacement spoons from Practical Farm Supply out of Michigan. I think the guy's name is Jason, very helpful. Um, he sent along this jig, basically a bent piece of metal with a spring in it and a basic little clamp which is that there. I modified the end of it to, so it slots in and it acts as a stop. And then uh, my setup, the, well, the whole bits are these things here and they get welded on sort of that orientation. But you want the angle to be uniform and you want a certain amount of stick out. So it's best to come up with some kind of, um, since I got so many to do, a lot of um, some kind of jig. So since the, um, the spindle on these is 5 8 I just took a 5 8 inch bolt and tack welded it onto the side of this old um, clapped out hand truck. And then I tack weld a little stop on there. So then you uh, fit the whole bit and there's little tabs on there conveniently so it centers in this jig. And then it's held in place with that spring pressure, the tip of the whole bit. And um, there's only one way for it to fit in. It's going to fit to a certain depth because of this stop here on the end of the jig up against the inner diameter or outer diameter of that wheel. And then it's held down in place with um, the spring clamp. So I've had decent success uh, welding those on. I've got my welds aren't the world's greatest, but they'll do. It's uh, 7014. I don't know if it's going to show up. The rod he suggested using was, there is, 7014, 330 seconds. And, well, I've got enough in here. There's 16 per wheel. So I bought enough, I think, for five, five wheels. So we'll do those and then order some more, it looks like. It's a little tedious, it takes a fair amount of time, you know, 16 tips per wheel. But once you get going, it's not too bad. Um, burns in decent. I've never used 7014 before. I'm sure by the time I'm done, I'll be uh, all set. But yeah, I would suggest getting some kind of setup like this rather than trying to freehand them anybody who's going to do this and I might even send this to Jason just in case he wants to see what uh, get a side shot there so I got about half done on this one thanks for watching bye